How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to use the Zebra ZSP portal or the Zebra designer software that's used with the ZSB series printers. So we're going to go step-by-step -step over this software. Well it's kind of like a cloud software uh, so hopefully you'll be able to design a label using your Zebra ZSP printer if you want to. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial. I've already gone to zsbportal.zebra.com, signed in, and as you can see right here, it gives us some information about our printer. We've already installed it, and if you haven't already installed yours, I do have a tutorial on how to do that. I will put a link to that in the corner as well as the description. You want to check that out before going further because you have to be connected to your printer in order to print out one of the designs that we create. Over here on the left is a menu bar, and over here on the right is going to be our workspace, but we don't have any designs. We can click here to create a new design and that's just going to give you a blank canvas. It recognized what's on my printer is four by six, but it also has all of the other dimensions that Zebra sells. I think there's nine of them in total. I'm gonna hit cancel and then I'm gonna show you guys common designs right here. It brings you to this menu of eight different dimensions, but it doesn't tell you the dimensions right here. So that is something that Zebra could probably improve on the next version of this program. I'm just gonna click right here to address and it pulls up these three and a half by 1.25 labels that are all pre-made. If you want these exact labels, you can just click on it, copy it to your design, and then you now have it in your designs. You can hit view right here, or you can go to my designs and click on that label. From there, you could print or you could edit the design, which brings you into the designing software. You can then move elements around, edit them, and so on and so forth. But you're gonna learn all of that when we design one from scratch, and, and how we're going to do that is by going to create new design, uh, and we're gonna create a four by six design because that's the only labels that I have right now. Here is our blank canvas. Over here on the left is just the small settings that we saw before. You can increase the size of that by hitting that arrow, and then decrease it again by doing that. You can name your label. So I'm gonna call it sample, label. Uh, it tells you the dimensions and the last time it was saved. Over here is data connect. So if you're importing some sort of data from, from Google, Office 365, or mobile device, you can do that. Right here would be to download the label if you want to save a hard copy to your computer. That's going to be a print dialog or printing your label. This is locking or unlocking the design. So locked means you cannot edit it. Unlocked means you can edit it. Over here, this is going to send the object behind. This is going to bring the objects in front. Copy, paste, undo, redo, and delete an element. Down here, you have rotation, so you can click on that and rotate the label how you see fit. This is snap, which you will see once we get some elements on here, and then you can zoom out or zoom in accordingly with this plus and minus right here. The labels do auto save. So when you click an element and start working on it, it will start saving it into the cloud as you progress. Over here are the elements we can bring into the label, a barcode, a text box, a line, a square, a circle, and then an image. We're just going to click on barcode first, and then we're going to click somewhere on our label, and it's going to pop up this barcode element. Right here, you get to pick what barcode language you want the barcode to be in. You would know this more than I would for your business or for your application. We're just going to do a QR code, copy, and I'm just going to paste that YouTube channel link into there. It's an encoding text. It's just a fixed text and we manually inputted it. I'm going to now X out of that, take that barcode and I can enlarge it by clicking on that circle and then dragging like that. We're gonna put it about that big and we're just going to kind of center it like that. The next element is a text box. We're gonna click on that and then we're going to click right here and we're just going to say, don't forget to like the video. You can do fixed text. You can prompt what text you want on it when you print and when you're printing it. That would be changeable text on mobile, a combination text. Combo text, I'm not quite sure what that is for, but they have current date, current time. You have a counter if you're gonna be 
counting up incrementally or de decreasing, but we're just going to be doing a fixed text for the application, and it's going to say, don't forget to subscribe. And you have your font, you got your size, you got your bold if you want, underline, centering, rotation, automatically fit text. When I move this box, you can see that it changes the dimensions. It'll kind of correct itself as you're making the box bigger or if you make the box smaller. If your object is out of the label workspace, it'll come up with this exclamation point. My text is off of the label just a little bit and then you just have to bring it into your label like that. We're just going to add some text right there and leave it at that. Add a line, you click on that and then you can click and drag a line. There is dotted lines. You can change the thickness, you can rotate your line, but you can use these lines to add some sort of styling. You can use it to make borders. You can use it however you see fit for your label. This little snapping thing down here, as you can see, as I have more and more elements, it gives me guidance and some snapping abilities. You can turn it on and off. This square right here is exactly what it looks like. It's just a square. Uh, we're going to create the square and I'll actually put it over the barcode. Here is a circle. Same thing. Click and drag. Create a circle. You can change. Well, I guess it's an ellipse. You can change the size of the ellipse. And if you hold shift and drag, it'll keep it in that aspect ratio. If you hold shift while you're dragging, just like on the photo editing programs. You have your fills, same thing with your line types, things you can play with. Not a ton of design that you have going on here, but these are the elements that they give us. Here's the last element, it's image. We're gonna click on that and then we're gonna click here. And you can, you can upload an image from your computer, you can go through the Zebra Gallery, or you can activate your webcam. We're gonna go to the Zebra Gallery real quick. I'm gonna show you guys, I just got some clip art, some emoji things. Let's throw an apple in there. That looks good. You can, I'm two finger dragging, I didn't know that. It makes it bigger or smaller. Shrink it down a little bit. We're gonna throw it inside of that circle. And then we're going to, we're creating another image. I'm gonna go down to camera and it activates the webcam so I can actually take a picture. If this were for maybe a some sort of visitor pass for like a school or a church or something, you could take a picture of that visitor right then and there. So I'm gonna take a picture real quick, confirm, and then I now have a picture for this sample label. If you select whatever element you have and go to copy and paste, you can copy and paste stuff, move it around. I can hit the delete key it doesn't do anything, but if I hit the delete here, I can remove elements and then they are stackable. So if I put that apple right here, you don't see it because it's behind the image. But if I go to over here to bring in front, it now brings that apple in front of the image. So I can copy, paste another apple, move it around. Oh, you can see I'm I'm kind of covering up that uh, the layers of that uh, dotted circle that we made earlier. So I can move, can select my image and I'm gonna go to the back and it's gonna send everything. I'm gonna send that to the back and then everything else will be layered on top of it. Kind of like that. This is our label. If you go to this gear and go to printer settings, you have these different graphic options. So whatever you're printing, if it has an image in it and you want that image to come out crisper, you might want to mess with the preferences, maybe print out a label right here, then move it over to here, move it over to here, move it over to here and see which one gives you your best image. I'm just going to leave it right here all the way to the left, but now I'm gonna hit print. It's got my printer right here. I'm gonna make one copy. I'm gonna go print. It's going to send the signal wirelessly to the printer and look at that, I have my label. I mean, it's not a beautiful label, but it is a label. You can clearly see my image on there, all of the graphics and everything like that. If I take out my phone, scan the barcode with my camera, it can take me to a link, brings me to YouTube, bam, right there, to my YouTube channel. So that's kind of an example of the QR code 
label design, how to work the software. It's not by any means absolutely comprehensive, but I think it's enough guidance to get you started. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. If you haven't already given the video a thumbs up, please do. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please do. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.